This is 2K Sports broadcasting from Sacramento as the Kings take it to the hardwood. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. This game is part of the travel schedule for New Orleans. These teams both look to get out and run at every right, opportunity. Ready to go? Oh, that's right there. Fast breaking that open court basketball. Very much in favor in today's game. I mean, it's fun to watch for the fans, too. Plenty of highlights. So fun. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans. Evans and Davis, the forward tandem. Prez out there with Young. And it's a Jinsa in at the five spot. For the Sacramento Kings. The last game a loss to Atlanta. Yeah, it's just hard to make up when you have an inability to make free throws consistently, and that's why they ended up losing. It felt more to me like they weren't focused enough overall. I mean, Yo, play some couldn't deep, make baby. good opportunities from the line. New Orleans now, they're coming off that win against Minnesota. Their percentage from long range in that game was off the charts. It seemed like any time the field... One of three from the field to start this one so far. It's stolen by Prez. It shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, but to make it official... Prez has been invited to enjoy the game of basketball. All-Star Weekend is completely for the fans, and all these great players are... And Chris, for Rudy Gay, he's reliable. Game to game is a score. And you sure can't overstate how important that is to a team. Bring it in. Take a seat. I love the energy, fellas. I really do. But now we got to keep it up and stay focused. Remember... You're my Pippin, and you're my Jordan. Finish this game like they will. Sacramento last time they faced the Kings and came away with a win. A huge margin of victory for them when these two That's teams squared off. And it's Caspi in at the three, the small forward. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Kings. And finish off by Prez. And what up to the line. So he's seeing more and more free throws as well. Many defenders don't even have an answer for him other than just the five. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Now Prez, coming off a solid outing against Minnesota. Clock is at three. Yep, it counts. Prez has got 11 points. I mean, he's gone four of six in the field here in the second. No one near Prez as he lets it go. Drills the three-pointer. 14 now, six points here for Cousins. The three-point shot is something Cousins has worked on effortlessly into his game. His stroke is very nice good, from outside. Good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape What's here. Up? They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Evans, he's checked in for Quincy. Way to work, gentlemen. Let's go now. Hustle up. Look what I see out there, fellas. We're playing like we want it more than them. Just keep squeezing that orange juice, gentlemen. And figure out how. Met at camp in 14 and 15. Uh, you can watch them now uh, through the various apps. I think it allows you to stay closer, you know, and, and allows you to build those relationships. The fact that everybody has fight up defenders and loves to finish with the dunk. He's very aggressive in every aspect of his game, from offense to defense. Now here's Prez. 17 points in the game. And that one is good from Ajinsa. And the jump shot has been a dimension. Well, it's deflected. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And we've got an update here. Thanks very much. Hey, you could not miss the first part of this game. Was good shot selection and emphasis for you? Uh, yeah, you know, it always is. Uh, there's so many good scorers on this team that it's foolish of me to, you know, try to force anything. So uh, I'm just taking shots. I'm 100 percent. I can hit, can hit every time. And uh, this worked out so far, man. Well, you aced the test in the first half, man. Thanks for your time. Always been a good student. All right. Back to you, Kevin. <laughs> Bring it in, guys. Hey, great work in the first half. Hey, this is what happens when we play our brand of basketball. They cannot stop us. Just do what you've been doing, and it's smooth sailing. Let's go. Come on. And as we get the third quarter started, 
we're seeing a tremendous game from Fred. Just in attack mode, he was able to get in the lane at will in that first half. Uh, the most intense guy on the court at times. Put a lot of pressure on the defense. We'll see if he can maintain that level of energy the rest of the way. On the floor for Alvin Gentry as we get into the second half. Evans and Davis, the forward tandem. Prez out there with Young. And it's a Jinsa in at the center position. All free throws good from Prez. He's leading by 21. The dish to Evans. Out to the right wing. Here's Prez. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. 24 points. Well, he hasn't gotten much to fall, and it's costing his team dearly. Prez kicks to Evans. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. Beautiful lead pass. The finisher never has to check him. And here is Prez. He's got 24. And it falls over the rim and in. To rise up and toss up a shot as soon as he gets the ball is tremendous. And it's no doubt that Cousins is one of the premier big men in this league. I mean, look at what he does in every facet of the game. Just superb defense there. You can tell they definitely affected the release of that shot. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Yeah, just a terrific job of just beautiful execution in terms of creating space for his shot. He just couldn't get that one to fall. Prez with the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row. He's checked in for Tyreek Evans. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Prez. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's on Ben McLemore. And that's just what Prez does, getting real physical with the D on his shots. The Pelicans have been getting it done at the line, 10 for 12. At the line for two. That free throw good from Prez. Both free throws good from Prez. And real paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And Davis wide open. He shoots. Hits it from three-point range. McLemore with the ball. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Prez finishing off the play with the dunk. He won't miss many of Orleans. They've gone eight of ten shooting here in the second half. Very strong. Prez kicks to Pondexter. Fires from 18. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Pondexter. Take that from them today. Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. And finish off by Prez. And that's how you... Pushing it up. Here's New Orleans. Trying his luck deep. Knocks down the three ball. Prez has got two. Now here's McLemore. Guarded closer. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. And really like how Prez keeps his hands moving, which is why he comes away with important steals. Sacramento making a switch here. Richardson's checked in. And then for New Orleans, Jones checked in for Alexis Aginsa. Solomon Hill comes in. Have to be happy at least with how they set it up. Most of the time, that's a sure mate. And Prez looking very cool. Back to Gordon. From downtown, buries the long-range jumper. He has seven. And not as you are ever oh. going to see. Nice shot. Incredible clutch performance. Putting the team on his back and taking them right across the finish line. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Jeff Withy. Then it's Lawson. Then there's Crawley Stein. And it's Kufus in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. I just love the tenacity that Prez displays, going straight into the heart of the D there and drawing the foul. The first one falls. Well, the salary cap skyrocketing this season and next season as well with all the new TV money. It oh, man, I, I tell you what. I mean, every seems like every... You know, decade, you know, the, the next decade, the players say, man, I wish I was born in that one, but I, but I tell you what. Here in the fourth. From 11 feet away, 
and off the front iron, and in it goes. Brez. I think it paid off, that's for sure. And the effort here tonight, adding to the W column for the season, it will go down as their 48th win. And now Prez, he feeds it to Pondexter. Here's Jones, uses the glass to finish the layup. Just look at how quick taking the W here. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it. So there he is. Night, Yo, everyone. Prez, Ernie and the guys in the studio want to talk to you. All right, let's get it. Thanks, Kevin. Now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Prez. Hey, this is Shaq. You were on another level tonight. When was the last time you felt in complete control of a game like this? Uh, man, it's been a while. I can tell you that. Um, it felt good, though. You know, some games like this, everything just feels like it's going in, and it's basically the most fun you can have on the court. It's a feeling I'm always chasing as a basketball player. And, you know, tonight, I got there. And I feel you, dude. Great game. All right. And that is a wrap, everybody. Thanks for joining us this evening. For Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson. See you again soon.